everybody. It's JPT. <laughs> oh, I look naked. I look so naked. Trust me, I'm not naked. I'm just wearing my backpack. See, just wearing my backpack. Not naked. I got pants on. <laughs> oh, it always throws me off. I'm like, I'm going to do an intro facing the camera like this. And then I got an axe in my head and I, I look naked. That's that's not the case. So today we are going to build ourselves a smeltery. That's right. I already have a few seared bricks going on here. And I've got a few more that I need to make in order to get stuff going on around here. That's right. We're going to start doing some smeltery. I've moved some of my stuff in here. I went ahead and did an advanced, I guess, a, not a tool station. It's a tool forge. Gives me all the tools. That's right. So we can do... A hammer, which I want to do very, very soon. Also, we can do lumber axes, excavators, all sorts of crazy things. So that's what we were going to do in today's episode. But of course, I got to, you know, get myself there. In order to do that, you got to start smelting stuff. And, you know, that way make things are way more efficient. But let me give you a little tour of the old hidey hole. So here we go. This is the hidey hole in its current state. For some reason, I put the door here. So whenever you walked in or was it over here? I don't know. Whenever you walked in, it just wasn't straight on. And that really bothered me. So I had to mess with some stuff. Went ahead and put all of my stuff in here. All of my, uh, whatchamacallums, my bushes and all of my other things. Tomatoes surprisingly give you a decent amount of uh, health back. And uh, they, take a, they don't take very long to grow. So I went ahead and grew mostly tomatoes. And of course, I also have carrots. I haven't found potatoes yet. But that will probably be my main source of food. But as you can see here, I've got a couple different ways of going uh, through here. I've got a way of going all the way down there. I have to get myself some lava. I'm going to take a couple breaks in today's episode, just so you know. So prepare yourself for that. Another thing I figured out was how to do these drying racks. And of course, drying racks can be used for a number of things. Uh, I usually just hang stuff from them. Like uh, you can see the clock there. But here it's just, you know, slabs, three across makes yourself a drying rack and you can hang stuff from it. So I've got my clocks hanging from there and yes, they do work. If you look at them real close, eventually they'll tick away. They'll tick away. Come on clock. I probably caught it right in the middle where it's not ticking. Come on. Come on now. They work. I swear. Mm, tick. Tick tock. Tick tock. You don't stop. I swear it works. We're going to stand here until it does. I'm not going to look away. I'm not going to look away. Oh, gosh. <laughs> they have to be working, right? They have to be working. Oh, there we go. It ticked. Ha-ha. <laughs> so, there we go. Oh, yeah. I also found this in the nether. A gravestone. I have no idea what it does. If you look it up in the NEI, nothing. Like, if you just go over here and it says gravestone, there's no recipe to make it. It just says it exists. I have no idea what they do. It's biomes of plenty, so maybe I just need to look that up on the interwebs may do that after I'm done recording today. Also went ahead and made myself a nether portal. So I got a nether portal here. And then I had to kind of figure myself out because there is another base right here. This is Sheik's base. And so uh, basically my base is here. I'm roughly here and my nether portal puts me here. It's weird whenever you jump to the nether and you start using uh, sort of these little coordinates or whatever, or these uh, waypoints, they show up on your other map as well. There's not separate nether maps and overworld maps, which I think is a little weird. Also, uh, shelves are really cool. You can put stuff there. So I've got my uh, my books here for right now. Eventually, I'll have all sorts of tools. As a matter of fact, I've got my diamond saw because of the micro blocking that I've been doing. So let me go ahead and put it there. It's real tiny. <laughs> but uh, yes, we are going to make ourselves a lot of, whatchamacallums, uh, seared bricks in order to get ourselves moving along. I also need some glass because I need to make some seared glass. And what I'm doing here is I've got seared brick in the furnace. And in order to do that, you need to make grout. And in order to make grout, you have to have clay, sand, and gravel. Yeah, so clay, sand, and gravel in this configuration. Or you can make it like this. I don't know, is that more? Ooh, that's slightly more efficient. Or no, it's not because you need to have blocks. You need to have a clay block, and I'm pretty sure, is a clay, yeah, clay block is four, so technically, hmm, curious. I don't know if that's more efficient to do that or not. Anyways, 
I can't do math right now. It's been a long day. I've already been at work, but we're just going ahead and making a little bit more than we probably need in order to make ourselves all of this smeltery, tomfoolery, whatnot. So what I need to do is I need to make, let's see, I've, I've actually done the math. Let's see, I need to make 40, 40 total seared brick, but right now, hmm, let's see, let me, let me just make a few. Let's see, so one, two, three, four, five. Let me just, this, this is okay. We can make this many. So I know I'm going to need one right here. And then I'm going to need nine more. So yeah, this works out. Ooh, some lag. Lag, lag, lag. This is really weird knowing that there's going to be super hot stuff. Wait, did it give me one back? Oh, by the way, if you hang uh, uh, zombie flesh from this, you get monster jerky. And it gives you two. So if you're killing zombies all the time, hang that stuff up. There's a use for it now. I always hoarded my stuff in vanilla thinking at some point, eventually it would give me uh, something, but that's not the case. All right, so what I need to do is I need a smeltery controller. So what we'll do is we'll look up the word smelt. And we need one of these, a smeltery controller. This is the brains of the operation. So here we need to put in nine. So what I'll do is I'll go like that. Get myself a smeltery controller. What I'm going to do is I'm going to put mine... Mm, I'm going to put mine right here. And so when you do that and you right click on it, it kind of shows you just a little bit of the basic stuff. It doesn't give you the full-fledged stuff until you put in your... Um, is it seared tank? Yeah, it's your seared tank. So let me look that up seared tank right here this thing right here and so you need to put a piece of glass in the middle basically the same recipe as before you just got to put a piece of glass in the middle which is kind of convenient we'll just go ahead and do that and that is what's essentially going to activate this whole thing so as soon as i place this that is going to happen so bam see just like that just like that let me get a little screenshot action Katow. So what you do is um, you need to fill this up, and I think these hold 4,000. So now you have here, and as you can see here, we have nine slots. So however many uh, uh, vertical levels you have of this thing, that increases by nine. So say we go up one more level, then it go to 18, then 27, 36, and then 45. I think 45 is what we're doing. Uh, at least that's the preliminary uh, thing that I want to do. So essentially what you do is you uh, put stuff in here and then it uh, heats up and then it shows up in your smeltery here and then uh, your lava will show up here as well. And I don't have any lava so I'll probably have to go off camera and get that stuff for you guys so you know what is going on. So from here, I think what I need to do is I want to make, I want to make a bunch of seared glass and I need a ton of regular glass to make that happen. So we'll go ahead and grab that, grab that as it's coming and grab this as well. Do we have anything I can cook to not waste that? I don't think so. Oh well. Ooze wills. It's all right. So what we need to do is we need to make this seared glass. And so as you can see here, it's five. I don't know what they're doing. Uh, five glass, like a, a plus sign, and then this in the sides. So what we'll do is we'll go ahead and split our Divisions like that, like that, and then just kind of do one of those things. Now, how many do I really truly need? Um, you don't really need. Uh, I need. Let's see. I'm, I'm doing the math out loud. So three, six, nine. I need at least nine to start. So one, two, three. Let's just do nine of those. Yeah. I guess I don't need to count that out for you. Eventually my whole a good chunk of this is going to be exposed and you can actually put lava in these as well I have to shift it on that one it's weird because it basically makes this see-through which is really interesting I went ahead and built one of these in creative just to make sure I knew what the heck I was talking about so it might seem like I'm like totally pro at this trust me I'm not I'm not at all 
And what we need now is we need uh, some drains. So we go back to smeltery. It's kind of weird you have to jump back and forth, but that's all right, I guess. And it's just these vertical ones here. I want three of these because I want to be able to um, do three things at once if needed. You really technically just need one, but a lot of people just go ahead and make two or three just so that they can do it. I'm going to do all of my smelting on this side. So what you need to do is that you'll see that there's a hole on this side. And then there's a square on this side. You do not want that square facing out. You want this small hole facing out because that's where you're going to put your faucets. And I hope this is recording okay. In order to build faucets, you need to do kind of like you do a lava bucket or just a regular bucket, like an iron bucket. And then what you do is you put these like a so, like that. And then essentially you have yourself a working smeltery. All you gotta do just put lava in this bad mama jamma. This thing will fire up. As you can see now, we have uh, 18. So there you see it doubled right there. And you can toss any sorts of stuff in there. It's just more efficient rather than tossing stuff in these old furnaces. You can essentially come in here and as you can see, I've got a lot of ores. You'll pile up all of your ores in there and then you'll essentially be able to make anything based on certain patterns. So you could make ingots, and um, eventually you'll be able to make, let's see, I don't think I did, I don't think they're called seared, are they? Seared? Oh, it's not a pattern. No, gosh, you dummy. Um, let's see, it's this thing here. So this casting table and this uh, casting basin. So basins will be able, you'll be able to make a complete uh, blocks like big old chunks of nuggets. So like, uh, uh, an, uh, an, like let's say a gold block, you'd be able to pour it in there. And then essentially if you have a casting table like one of these, you'll be able to put um, uh, patterns in there and you'll be able to make things out of those. So let's go ahead and don't think we can make one of those out of what we've got right now. I don't think, yeah, I kind of, I kind of did my limit of certain things. So that's probably as far as I'm going to get right now with that stuff, because I only have six. And as you can see, that's not going to make me anything special. So basically the table is this way. And I think the basin is that way. Let's just check. Yeah. Basin is the other way. So I am one short. I don't think I can reverse engineer this brick, which is unfortunate. So I'll have to do that in just a bit. But right now I'm going to dump this water bucket and I'm gonna get this thing all full up. Actually, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna fill this and then these three up and that should increase the level level here. And then we'll be able to be uh, smelting things in just a bit. So stay tuned. All right, I'm back. We got ourselves some, some iron, some urn going on in there. Got lots of lava. All you do is you go get a lava bucket like that you just right click on it and it's going to put stuff in there. As you can see here, we've got molten iron. We've got some molten gold. Also got a little bit of molten aluminum brass. The way you make aluminum brass is you take three aluminum ore, you put them this way. Then you take one copper ore and you put it underneath it. And eventually, well, I guess I can make some more. You do that and quickly, bam, do that. And so once these kind of mix together at the top, they're going to make this molten aluminum brass. Now don't, uh, you know, if you want just like, Molten aluminum, then you need to put that in it by itself. Don't mix this stuff unless it's it's just gonna it's gonna be a hot mess. You gotta be really uh, careful of that. So again, we want this molten aluminum brass that's gonna help us make cast. I think you can also do them at molten gold. So that's actually what we're gonna try to do here. So I need another uh, pattern here. I've got my tool rod. So essentially, if I'm thinking right, we should be able to do. Yeah, we should be able to do stuff. But I need. Apparently I need a ton of wood to make that happen. So let me just go ahead and grab this whole stack. One thing I do want to show you though, real quick is that, you know, I hate these corners here. You don't technically, you could, you can, you know, you could place down, oops, you could put down this, you know, like that. It'd look fine, but meh, let's be different. Let's be different. So what I'm going to do is I found this wedge slope. Let's see here, wedge slope. So like this. What you do is you put three sticks like this and three carpenter's blocks like that. You get this slope. A lot of people use them for their, um, their roofs of their houses, but we're not, we're going to use it for something else. So we're going to right click on this and okay. So we got it in the right orientation sort of, 
and we're going to left click it until it gets into not so weird orientation and then right click it again okay so we got it in the right orientation but that is not the pattern we want so uh, left clicking makes it go around right clicking makes it change shapes and it just goes through and changes oh there we go that's the shape we want okay so since this is seared brick we want this to be seared brick left click or right click nope it ain't gonna work for some reason seared brick does not like carpenter's blocks so what you got to do is you got to get basalt brick it looks real close to it you dig all the way down to bedrock you find the basalt you get basalt cobblestone then you put that in a furnace and you get basalt and then you make those into basalt bricks much like you would stone bricks and then bam right click pretty cool huh i like it i think it looks really cool it gives it a different look i like it i like it plus we went ahead and built a casting table just because we could okay so stencil table you get your blank pattern you put in there you go click 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 you get the stuff you need the way you find out the stuff you need is you go to the tool forge and you say oh i want to make a hammer that's what we want to do so we got the large plate pattern here and we've got uh, the hammerhead pattern which i call it the can of soup it looks kind of like a can of soup also a tool rod pattern you can't just put those in there you got to make a part builder for it now yeah, we need plates so what we do is we need you know creeper face plate and so i guess technically i only needed one of those didn't i hmm strange oh wow it takes that takes quite a bit of uh wood i think it was eight wasn't it so we'll go ahead and dump 16 back in this bad mamma jamma like that take this sucker out because we don't need it anymore but we need a can of soup we get ourselves a hammerhead Take that out, and then we need a tool rod. Oh, it's giving us... Oh, it gave us a stick back. I was like, oh, it's giving us that. So not a big difference between those two. Very, very strange. And I think we'll just leave those in there. So what we need to do now is we need to make patterns out of it. So what we need to do are plates. And the way you make plates, if I'm not mistaken, is you take the tool rod... You place it in there what we're going to do is we're going to pour a mold all around it and that way we can eventually make more stuff so what i'm going to do first is i'm going to try to do the gold now, i don't know if that's any better or worse but i'm going to pour gold around it and as you can see it pours oh that's so awesome and then bam eventually it cures you right click it you get the tool rod cast and then you get your part back which is really nice and i'm quickly finding out that i need a lot more storage at least in there so for now since i know that is that they all wooden tool rod that is going to go in there that's just a stick that's just a mean old stick we don't need that and pattern wise yeah i guess we overdid the patterns didn't have that pattern and we didn't have this pattern or this pattern ironically enough actually you know what we did i'm an idiot I'm a dang idiot, but we got ourselves the cast, and that's all I'm worried about right now. I'm happy. I've recorded this two different ways to Sunday. So what we're going to do now is, oh, I didn't need the tool rod. I need this thing, the hammerhead. So we put the hammerhead in there, right click, pour the gold on this, keeps pouring, kind of looks like leather, doesn't it? Bam, got ourselves a hammerhead cast now, which is really cool. And what we need to do is we need to put the creeper face plates in this way. Pour some gold on it. Bam. Right click it, right click it, and get both. So now what we can do is, since I want to make that out of iron, flip it to iron. Because basically you just left click and anything that's on the bottom is what is going to come out of the faucets here. So what we do is we put that there. Right click on it, let the blood pour out. It's not blood, trust me. Come on now. There we go. Bam. So we got an iron plate, so we can do. Oops, that's the wrong table. Nope. <laughs> Dang it. There we go. Put it there. Put it there, buddy. That's going to stay in there, right? Oh, that's weird. Okay, <laughs> that's really strange. Okay, so we need technically another one. So we need to put the large plate back in there because we need two. Right click on it, 
And that's how you do part stuff. I mean, it took me forever to wrap my head around it. But it's like, once you get into a rhythm, you're like, oh yeah, this is, this is nice. This is nice. And I'm pretty sure there's other better materials to build this stuff out of. That's just, just the direction I'm going. Just to, just to start. Okay, they stack. That's good. I'll just keep them in my thing because I have a feeling, oop, I have a feeling they're just going to get out of whack anyways. So we need the tool rod. So we'll pour that. Oh, look at that. A little teeny tiny little bit. That that was really fast. I'm very happy with that. And then right click on that. Grab that. And let's see. I can I can afford to, to lose that for a second. Right click on that. Right click on that. Get that back. Sort of. Not really. Okay. So we're going to build ourselves a hammer. We're not going to do any upgrading today. We're just going to build it, and I'm going to call it quits. Actually, I have one more thing I'm going to show you after this. What? That's right, isn't it? What? Do I have to name it? Nope. What? I'm confused. I'm so confused. Why is this not working? Give me my tool. Hmm. That is weird. Let me try this, see what's going... Wait a second. That's got to give me my tool, right? Hmm. Strange. Well, surely we don't have to put... Hold on a second. I was... I could have... Hmm. <laughs> I'll be really disappointed if I put have to put wood in there. Nope. That don't work either. Well, hell, fire, and brimstone. I don't even know. I don't know. Okay. Sorry for the jump cut there, but I figured out what the heck is going on. We don't need a tool rod. We need a tough rod. Of course we do, because that would make sense. So what we need to do is we need to come back over here to the part builder, plop that thing in there, get a wooden tough rod, not a wooden tool rod, because there's a difference. Go ahead and slap. This is the right one, right? Tough rod. Slap that bad mamma gemma in there. Oops. Go ahead and switch it over to the gold. Glad I didn't have a disaster there. Click on that. Glad it's smart enough to know that it can't do stuff like that. Okay, now we have ourselves the pattern that we need. So we put that in there. Come back over. Get our iron. <laughs> oh, man. So much research. I thought, oh yeah, this is going to be real smooth. I'm real confident. This thing is going to be like butter. It's going to be nice. Not so much. Ugh. Bam. Pro tinkerer. <laughs> Got ourselves a hammer. Got ourselves a hammer. Mm, 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 mm. Hammer, hammer. <laughs> so what we'll do from here is we'll come back in here. Toss this thing in here. Toss all this other cool stuff in there in order to repair or change the tool. I'm not going to do that in today's episode. I'm going to do some more research and do that in tomorrow's episode. But we got ourselves a hammer. So the last thing I want to show you, I teased you perhaps, or maybe I didn't. Maybe I edited that part out. This is our base. Look how big it is. Yes, this is our base. Let me show you somebody else's base just so you know like this is uh this is somebody else's base this is a uh, um uh zuria's base so like she's got a, a thing over here she's got a farm over here that farm is really cool i have to go show you guys that but if you have been a fan of the horrible night series the horrible night midnight or horrible night minecraft series you remember the wedge and I'm going to edit some footage of the wedge in here right now, or at least a screenshot for you to check out. The wedge was really cool. 
but it had a lot of limitations in vanilla Minecraft. It was a huge build, uh, 45 radius. So like if you look at the circle chart, 45 radius. So my idea was to build it in the crag. Bam, double wide wedge. Let me <laughs> switch before something stinks up on us and kills us. There we go. So yes, original width is this. So this would be the original width, but we're going double wide and we're gonna make so much cool stuff. Get away from me, skeleton. But what I wanted to do is I didn't want to sort of like have it raised. I wanted to make it look like it fell from the heavens and went boom and fell right here. So we're gonna do a little crazy stuff around the sides here with some perhaps uh, ashes. It's gonna be really cool. And then probably at the beginning of the next episode, as I will sort of show you how to build this ring. It's some pattern that I have built into my brain. It just seared into my memory. But yes, this is gonna basically go up. So we're gonna have a level that's way up here. You'll be able to look out. Ooh, the sun is coming up or going down. I can't tell. But yes, this is going to leave us so much room for activities. <laughs> oh, Step Brothers, fun movie. And of course, some of it will also go underground. But what I want to do is I want to build it around the natural terrain. And so this is a really good example of it. And that's uh, in the future. That is the future of the crag. The Wedge 2.0. It's back. This guy's wearing a top hat. We shall kill him for his top hat. Ooh, it's a fancy top hat. It's a haunted top hat. <laughs> so that is going to do it for this episode of... Attack of the B-Team, I almost said Horrible Minecraft, because I'm so used to this being in Horrible Minecraft, but that is not it. This is Attack of the B-Team. This is so much fun. It's so much learning. There's a lot of work involved, but you know what? I love it. I'm sure you will as well. If you are a player yourself, or if you got some comments, you got some ideas that we can use for this build, by all means, let me know. I'm going to basically use lava or some other stuff as a as a resource kind of like i tried to in the last one basically i had a big power plug plugged in the side of it oh my gosh get over here oh come here you got nothing on me get 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 yeah die you died <laughs> you died so again th th this is all future talk i've still got all this stuff to do in here that, that, that's temporary. That hidey hole is temporary. We're going to move, eventually move everything in here once we get this built. But I will sort of tell you, uh, lots of quartz will be involved and lots of inverted lamps and some glass as well. So that is stuff I'm going to have to collect off camera because I'm not going to bore you with that. We might try to take a trip into the nether just in case you've never seen it before. I need to get some food in my body in more ways than one. So that is going to be the end of this episode. If you liked what you saw today, by all means, leave those comments, leave those likes, and subscribe. I really, really appreciate it. Go ahead and just eat this carrot to tide me over. There we go. <laughs> so that is going to do it for this episode. Thanks so much for watching. And until next time, this is JPT. Go play your games. And I'll be seeing you.